All right, so we're going to do the. Uh, we're going to do the Teichano in Yonim. They give a nice summary. It'll help us, and then we're going to read the Rebbe's notes that the Rebbe wrote for himself, as it were, before the Maimed. Teichano in Yonim. It's page numerical value uh, five. Bira so he explains that the union of making me a mikdash, which is in the brackets, I'm shocha so eir she bechol oylem is b'shava, and that which is the eir asoyviv that he speaks about, the fidi kerebe. He called the kuchu brichu, and the rebbe uh, explains we mean the ad lam shocha so atzmos, the very essence al yedei ha'avoda, and the whole arichas of the rebbe there in explaining how dira betachtoinim. Is Tchila Sakavona. That was the whole beer there in the beginning of the Maimed. It's the first and primary uh, intent in creation, and the other explanations offered in the Yitzchayim and elsewhere are already dealing with are already dealing with lower levels of divine manifestation. And then he brought Apiteres <clears throat> Abashemtav. This is enhanced with the teaching of Abashemtav, Shandavash Leibim Kaima that ill-placed, misplaced humility. Like the Gemara says about Rabbi Zechari, that his humility um, that brought about the destruction because he didn't want to offer the Korban and didn't uh, and refused to uh, to uh, eliminate Bar Kamsa. And that brought about the terrible Korban because of false humility. In other words, a false kind of bittle. Misplaced bittel. Mizem moving. So the fact that the Fidik Rebbe brings, sorry, the Bashemtev brings, the Bashemtev brings Rabbi Zechariah as an illustration of misplaced humility. The point is to bring out. boy. When we do as we should, Shadom Yedeya, the person knows Shadavi Dosse Beteirot Tfila. Pelam Shachas Atzmos that he affects the Abish himself, and the words of the of the Baal Shem Tov, the Abish waits and watches and kisses him on his mouth when he says words of Torah and Tefillah. So when he does that by bringing Rabbi Zechariah, the Baal Shem Tov is telling us, it's not just a question of his personal schar, but he actually is engaging in the ultimate kavonda of building the Beis Hamikdash and. Uh, and ending the goals. Bira Shaykhas the Indian the Yeshevas Beganim. Then he explains the Yeshevas Beganim, which is explained by the Fidi Kerebe. It's the second uh, Maimer. The Gimel Pirushan Shibadovar, three explanations. She am Shachas Aproti, as Hanim Shachas, and they avoided the Shamas of Malachim. Because here we're dealing about, actually, he only gives two, as we'll see, out of the three, but we'll see that in the Rebbe's notes. This is Damshachas Proteus that happens, the individual revelations that, ha- that, are, that are appropriated to Neshamas, Lemailo, Malachim, Pchinnas Kamama, Malakalama, and this is a tremendous chidush to explain that. Namely, that not only are we Mamshech Atzmos, and you would think if we're Mamshech Atzmos, so why would we, what is contributed by Mamalakalami, by a finite and tailored revelation? But the MS is that therein lies the whole Chiddush. Because it's in Mamalakalami that it's what? Fill in the blank. It becomes what? Mitzvahs become, life becomes what? Personal. A personal, intimate relationship. Not just a blanket connection to God that everybody achieves to whatever degree you do your mitzvahs. And this is explained by Peter and Magid, the incredible teaching of the Magid about Hashem appearing to what? Fill in the blank. To change, to change from a bacher to a zaken. The matter because of the all of the changes of the of the conduct of a year down here. What was the moshe they gave of what? This is the critical moshe, the, the 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 way the heart of the maimer. Friends, your old parents, give out. 
Oh, the, the that's, that's, yeah, the, the child, the, that's engraved the, father, the child father. that's engraved in the father's mind, and that image is constantly evolving because the, the child is constantly changing. And that's how he explains this otherwise impossible madras. In the words of the summary, which is the record from the Maimur, that all the shinoyim in the conduct of a yid, we don't mean the yidin collectively only either, we mean individually. Are engraved, that such words are, they wouldn't be written and said by the Magid and Rebbe, we couldn't say them. Are engraved, as it were, in the very essence of the Abish himself. In moving, it's understood. In addition to the blanket, the essential revelation of a Likus that that each mitzvah elicits, each iskafi elicits, which embraces all of creation equally from the highest to the lowest. In addition to that, this whole teaching of the Magid, and, that's, and this is all in the Fidik Rebbe's words, because he brings out all the different pirushim, and he talks about the masters of good deeds and the scholars. It's also drawn down uniquely and individually. In all of the individual levels. Just to give like a, a, this is a, an example of which actually can't happen in our world, but you imagine it's, a, it's a end of year and the, the teacher is giving out the, the, the prizes. So conventionally, good. So yeah, the, the, the teacher gives the prize. It's the, it's the same prize. You know, you're all graduating. So you get, uh, not a prize, a graduation. You get your cap and your graduation certificate. But it gets the same thing, and the teacher smiles to each one, and it's a, a meaningful and wonderful uh, encounter, and the kids have worked their whole life to, this is the end of graduation of high school or whatever university. But imagine, if they approach the teacher, the, the, and the teacher actually changes for each one of the kids that goes by, reflection of himself. That the teacher, which means two things, that he's not just, you know, you did well, and here's your reward. The teacher not only empathizes and understands and feels everything you went through to get this. More than that, that's empathy. That's only empathy. We're not talking empathy. The teacher itself has become molded and affected this way. And the child sees on the teacher's face everything that they went through. And not just for the moment that the child passes. It's there. Each one of them sees the teacher differently this way. That's how it is by the Eivishter. It's the same unchanging Eivishter, of course. Atzimus and Mohos. But Atzimus and Mohos, even the Rachatz. Hashem, Tsoyas, B'noi Sien. What does that mean? From, he has to wash. He has to wash where? The Rebbe couldn't say these words. Not only is he washing him, no, he's seen, he has to wash his own being, his own face, Kavayochel, from the failure and the, and the, the tzorah of the Yid. Next, Bira Kushib, Maim Latam Kisa, Yisrael B'Shem Tzivis Avaya. So the Fiji Kedeva asks, why is it that Davke by Yitzhak Mitzrayim did not call Tzivis Avaya? And the question is that the name Hashem Tzvokis only emerges when. The question that only emerges when, much later, Bismana Nevi'im, so why they, why are Yidin called Tzivas invoking that name? So the Fidik have asked the question, but kids, sir, the Rebbe uh, uh, deepens and deepens the questions. First from the Alter Rebbe, Shashem Tzivokis, what is this name? Shin Yona in brackets, Yichro Da'iris in Makelim Debriya. Shem Tzvokis is all about bringing the Yichud that exists where? Even down here? Where does it exist? And that's what he says. Where does it naturally? Natsilus. So the avoid of the Nevim is to bring that down where? Even in? Bria. What was the marshal I gave you? I think I gave you. A simple marshal to understand the difference between the Yichud of the Sviris in Natsilus, the way it is in Bria. In terms of a painting. I, I think I gave the motion. 
Atzilus is a light is akin to what? The artist is standing by the by the by the painting. So anybody viewing the painting is sight is is seeing two things, which is one, the artist's painting, and not lost on every detail of the of the the incredible piece of art that this is the handiwork of the artist. That's a transparent experience. And when you go there looking at the art and the artist is standing there, it's one thing that you're seeing, the artist's handiwork. But when the artist is not there, does everybody know it comes from the artist? His signature is there and there's a plaque on the wall. May a photograph of him even. You know, but it's not the same experience. Because what are you looking there? You're looking at the art. And then also, also, the art comes from the artist. That's Bia. And the avoid of the of the of the Nevi'im is that Gewalt the Gechidosh, that even when you, the artist is not obviously present, that when you look at the painting, you see nothing other than the artist's work. So what's the alt what's the what's the Vigilabis Kasha? That's a tremendous Khidush and move to an achievement. What's the Vigilab's problem? What's his Kasha? The Dreb is explaining successively, layer by layer. That's right, it wasn't required. Mitzias Mitzrayim is Deirish al Moshe. And Deirish al Moshe is what? Nishamas. Deir Deya and Nishamas of where? That's Silus. Tell me this Aveda, it's obvious. You know, Elam has and they see, they see Elikus, Yevachayercha. Continuing the summary. Mashegim Deirish al Moshe, Lohaya Tzerich Baze. Kivin Shoy Bamamamodim at Savish al Moshe. They didn't need this in Moshe Rabbeinu's generation because they were on his level. How did he say that? Explain from the Alter Rebbe. Deya, 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 also Malash and what? Generation of knowledge they're called by Chazal. But, and they're called Deya Rishel Moshe, but Deya also means what? Deya? Huh? Shura, a line. On the same line, the same wavelength. They're all on the same wavelength as Moshe Rabbeinu. And, then, and so that's the kasha. The Rebbe strengthening in the, the question and explaining it. Or befrat in brackets now, the middle of the Rebbe, api masha kosev, or masha bevayer, at morem tzoi, shishem tzvokis, shishem apu'ula milvat. The middle of the Rebbe, all our riches, explain the difference between the other names and the names of, and, and tzvokis. The other names are the unity of the etzem and the, the moshal of the three levels of Chacham. <coughs> no? Th when you say the word Chacham, it can mean, it does mean three different levels. It's Bechacham Be'etzem. That's Shema Etzem. That's Shema Etzem. Shema Toyer is his IQ. And Chacham, he says wise things. That's the Pu'ula. <coughs> so the Shemus of Atzilus, that's the fusion. That's the fusion. The Shemus of Atzilus, the fusion of Oyer and Keli. What is that in the Moshe of the Mitl Rebbe that's meant to help us understand, not confuse us? Is the fusion of the person of the Chacham's Atmzika Koycha Chachma and his faculties within him. They fuse seam seamlessly. That's in Koycha Chachma can't be measured. It's measured in his faculties, of in that's its expression. But that's an internal expression where the two fuse as one. His IQ is nothing other than the, the expression of his etzim Koycha Chachma. But then you have the Pa'ula or the Kinoi. And that's the actual expression of wisdom, um, which is c disconnected on some level from the etzim koim chachachma and the IQ. You have, a, you have an idea, a whole speech, a whole thesis. If you walk through it, you can see where it comes from. But the thesis itself is a thesis, a particular thesis. The etzim koim chachachma is endless potential. And the IQ is endless potential to, to package it. 
The IQ packages the etzim kei chachachma and gives it expression. That's endless. That's atzilus. Hashem Kimbiya is already the pu'ula. Shame 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 the Nimshal is a different shame. There's the shame of Svakis versus the shame of Ayan. Same Abish, that's, yeah. that's the whole point. It's the same Abish. That's that, that Bidiyuk. Bidiyuk. Yeah. Bidiyuk. Yeah. And the Avoid of, the Avoid of the Nevi'im, this is all complementing the, the Mitl Rebbe, is complementing, giving us greater nuance and insight into the Alter Rebbe's Biyur of Shem Svakis, that what's the Avoid is to see this oneness. Yeah. To see this oneness even in the Pu'ula. Even in Biyah, even when the artist isn't standing there. All, all uh, 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 deepening the question, so why are we invoking Shem Tzvokah, Sivis Hashem, by Tzies Mitzrayim, when it's a third day. Continuing now the summary, Atam Shebe Biro El Madei Tere Mitzvah. So why is it that, 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 that the refinement of the world so this summary, by the way, is not a, is, is a, by, by no means a replacement for learning the mind but inside, because you're not even connecting everything. So just giving a summary of the various parts of it. So the reason that the bitter has to be through Tzadik Mitzvah Tzadik Lis Bistapshes Beyomim Dafke, why must it's a, another touch in the word Tzava, which means Yom Mitzvah Reform Days. Now, why can't you do two mitzvahs on one day? You did, you refined the world. The net result, the profit is the same. What difference would I make a thousand dollars in in two days or in one day? It costs a thousand dollars. Why must it be every day? Answer. So the answer again, we were a little bit. And even in the summary, they don't they don't clarify this because look, can you have this at Because you need tefila. Now tefila, akluya in brackets beyomim dafke. Tefila has got to be done every day. Kivin shin yon lo hosha yitzet toiva yitzet. a little bit. Why must it be every day? First of all, it corresponds to the carbonus abroad every day. But Pinimius, because what is Tvila? It's about uniting the Yitzhatoiv and the Yitzhahara. Yishneim ke'echad la'vedah savayin. Night is Yitzhahara, day is Yitzhatoiv. We've got to unite both. Dugmas chibur ayim v'layl b'layim echad. Like day and night becoming one day. Now look at, look how we conclude the, the point. Nas is so davening. Which has got to be done every day because it engages what? It's a tevi, it's a hora. Nasis, it's in davening that this affects the chitzas, levusha, tere mitzvahs, washing out tere mitzvahs. When Yanama built it, it's a maravim bahem that can become sullied by doing mitzvahs for wrong reasons, etc. It's a little bit. Where's the whole mind around this? Where's the whole mind around this point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so the, the, the overt meaning here is that since mitzvahs see, uh, it can become sullied, Therefore, you got to clean them, and you clean them with tefillah. Tefillah's got to be done every day. Now, why tefillah every day? Because it's yitzah toiv, yitzah harah. So, when he comes back to, it would seem, in a circuitous way, why every day? Because it's did it It's got to come down into time and day where the yitzah harah resides, firmly and uh, and uh, fastedly in Elam Hazer. He made you sin yesterday, it's not enough. You've got to sin today as well. He ain't Yitzhar satisfied. He's not taking a break. So yeah. Yitzhar ain't take, he's, he's part of Elam Hazi. He wants every minute to be the way he wants it to be. That's right. Tefillah is mildly everything. Yeah, it all points to the importance of Tefillah, friends. Continuing. Transforming the Sheker. Now, what does it mean to transform Kesher? The Maimon doesn't say transform Kesher. As we learned, the Reb explained, Kesha means that's the means by which we take the Shekhar and make it Keresh. Kesha goes on the Avoid. But he is associating Kesha with the world itself, <coughs> which is not overt in the mind at all. It could mean, and it's just a suggestion, you know, the Kesha, the connections that we have which are inappropriate, which are wrong. We get tied up with the world. That's a negative thing. So we've got to turn that into Kedusha. 
But the way that I've explained, it's not that. That kasher is the avoid of connection of the upper and the lower, at any rate. So that's also a little bit open-ended. Hafichas shekev a kasher oilam the kaddish the kedusha to go to the bottom line, turn it into the kaddish. So you remember the nekudi here that the perhaps perhaps kasher means the tzibul I just said that, Chaim. I just said that it's not in the mimer. I suggested that, but it doesn't say it in the mimer. Kind of in the fili could have this mimer. Huh? The fili could have a kind of sense in in Eretz Yisrael. I don't remember exactly where, but. No, no, it's not that. It doesn't. You, it doesn't. It just states it. The, the, the it just says. As a matter of fact, the right. cash of the world. What, what? Right. So, what, what does it mean? And the bigger problem is when the Rebbe teaches it, the cash is the avoid that fixes it, right. not the problem. But here, the way the simple translation is part of the problem. We're suggesting connected to the wrong things. But I'm telling you, it's not in the mind. Like you said, for with the, with the mitzvah, sometimes the mitzvah can be dirty from uh, different. Not explanation, not in the mind. It's not there. That's all. But the nakuda is what is what is the big shekel that we're that we're turning around? What is the big shekel? Independent. Now the question I asked is a lie cannot be turned around. A lie is exposed and done away with. What does it mean we turn around the line? It's the only kudda here. You know what's the answer? How do you turn the lie into a into a into into a cash and into a kaddish? Huh? It's really you don't want it. That's a part of you. Huh? You don't want it. Quite can I say? It's not a lie. You really don't want that. So then you're then you're getting rid of it. If you really don't want it, you're getting rid of it. Ah, uh, what are you saying? Huh? Can't hear you, Yankee. Remember something? Can you make it louder? I felt the guns in the good. Huh? The Yashamiti. The exactly that the Yashamiti is invested in the Yashanivra, which means how is it possible that we can walk around the Lamhaza with a sense of independence? It's not true. Fundamentally, Tabus is creating Yashmai in every second. <clears throat> The answer is because the I am of Elam Haza is a corruption of the true I am of the Abishta. And moreover, the true I am of the Abishta is only to be accessed in the lie of Elam Haza. As we learn later from Great Adit of Nebar Hashab, how Dafke creating the Yesh and Nivre Balshir in the words of the Rambam, therein lies the Kaycha Atzmus that came from the Nebar Hashab. So that's the sheker that becomes the kasher. How could an eye exist? There's no such thing. And so is, there's an absolute eye of which you are a corruption of and connected to. And connected to. And that true eye is dafke in your eye. And therefore, surrender it completely to reflect the trueness of the eye, which is the eye of Hashem. Which is amazingly why paroi, the, the ultimate ego who said, as I said, I am the Nile, I made myself. What does it say in Zayar about Paray? Is Pariyu called the Hayri? Pari means to, to reveal, peel back, as in the act of Bris Miller, this Priya, you have to reveal the, the organ. Is priyakol nohedim means that all of the lights are peeled back. Nohedim means oir. And what's left? Atzmus mohus. The dafke in the arrogance of Pari and Ilam Haza, that there could exist such an absolute, absoluteness of, of self. It's only possible, and it is in fact a reflection of Atzmus, the ani, the anoichi, the true anoichi, misha anoichi. I am that I am. And basically, in the, and therefore, you know, in Zayin Echsidus, Paro is, in its deeper level, it's, 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 it's the lowest. I think it's the higher. I mean, the Emes said that, that all of these, these insights. I mean, can you imagine how shocking this is? Someone just learned all his life Nigla. It's a, it's a, it's a complete blows everything out of the water. Everything is thought is turned on, on it, turned on its head. Not that Paro Bechetzoni is not a Russia, in the ultimate Russia. But the premise of it all. That in the I am of Padoi lies 
the I am of Atzim Muslim Mahoz. Let's continue. Huh? Yeah, Haman is in the girdle. Yeah, yeah, he's expressing girdle, yeah. shalom, etc., etc. Et <coughs> but this is the Rebbe Marash. We didn't. I just, I just brought the Rebbe Rashab into the picture. But first, the Rebbe Marash, which is in the next, in this very final, second last paragraph. So we have to transform. But even Shabbat Sias Atzma Mishdanis, we got to change the reality on the ground. And that's the the Omer Rebbe's Marashas Vork. The Matzini being the Oiter Mechayehu. That Dafka Oiter is going to come all the way down. Sheir Oiter Nimshach Meir. That we've got a Oiter comes down and illuminate. Actually, the Keres Pulosi, the Mat of Begufa Adam, bringing from the Rambam. That you see a Chacham in his physical, external gest- gestures, the way he eats and walks, etc. That's changing the reality on the ground. That was the Vork from Rebbe Marash. And then to explain the diak of Zman Mugbul, not just Zman, but hardcore Zman of the, the Lashon of the Fitik of Zman Mugbul, the final paragraph, the Rebbe Rashab from Tafresh Pei, which I assume the Rebbe is quoting because it's a jubilee, Tafresh Pei is 1930, this was 1960. Maimah said 30 years earlier, the Rebbe, as we have seen, was very much. Uh, focused and, uh, and brought out, you know, these milestone years, decades or even five years, uh, uh, 20, 70 years is a big thing. And the reason that Hamshach of Atmos is Dafke, Hashem Echon meaning again, uniting the night and day, it's a toy, it's a order, everything. He's Dafke, Zman Mugbul, Yom Mitzor, Velechabem, the Pasuk. Yom sort of v'loi echad b'hem, that the loi echad, it's all bound up with the echad, or in the yomim, which is day and night, we reveal the echad, and not just the echad stam, but v'loi echad, the level of loi, remember? Haid nishtar shalos, alev, loi, pele. Why is the dafkin's man mugbul? This is the meridik in from the, from the Rebbe Rashab, the whole beautiful beard that needs your meditation and reflection on at length. Otherwise, otherwise it's garnished. Kidafka the Isavasayesh. The point is he's explained there that who is the big teacher of the truth of God? Dafka what? Elam Haza. Because if they wish to wouldn't create the Elam Haza and only manifest Ur, we would think so that's this is this is his natural this is him. This is this glorious God that manifests this divine, glorious, infinite, and wondrous faculties. Chesed b'ligvul, chachma b'ligvul, etc. Or even the Eir Sof. The Eir Sof is intrinsic. The infinite light is intrinsic to the infinite creator, infinite being. And Elam Hazar says, absolutely not. In order to create the Yesh Hanivre, it's Be'ein Aroich. Only Bein Aroich, so we see the Bein Aroichness of God for everything and anything, including Eir, including manifestation. That too is a choice. The whole in Yonav, in the words of the Rebbe Rashab, is Bein Aroich. In the final words, Kidavka Yedei Yisavas Ayesh Yedim Shisavas Bein Aroich. It's only to the emergence, the creation, not the emergence, the creation. Yesh Ma'ayin that we know that Yisavas is absolutely incomparable, not Ilav Olu. Because we would think, right? Oir. Oir is Ilav Olo, but it's Ilav Olo from Moir. It's not Ilav Olo from Atmos. That's the point over here. It's cause and effect, Taka from Moir. But Abish is beyond Moir, and that's a choice. It's all part of the creative. Be'in a choice and phenomena. Vipa Eles is a Kodavai idea, and therefore seeing. They narich dafke in the creation of Gashmis that has absolutely nothing that precedes it. Nothing. Not ilav olu. So that gives us the idea they narich gamba ilamis shalamalamimeno, even the higher ilamis and all the way to the highest madrigis. Okay, so this was a summary of the Teichana in Yonim. Now let's look at in the last few minutes the Rebbe's actual Xaviat Kotchev from the Rebbe. It's page Yudalif. 
and of course they're very cryptic, but now having learned the Maimer, we have some understanding. This, by the way, was uh, uh, given out at, uh, not that to Gimel Thomas, this was before. Could be, you know, I think they ever gave it to help when they would write up the Maimer, he gave it for their, to help them write it properly, having their summary. As you can see, they ever wrote in pencil, as he always did. I don't think they ever used a pen except for to sign a letter. All of his notes, and all of his, uh, even when you wrote a letter and the Rebbe answered you, which he did on your letter by underlining, crossing it, etc., it was all done with pencil. Interestingly enough, the Fidget Rebbe also used a pencil. As you can see from the picture on his desk, he's actually holding it, the picture of him holding a pencil, I think. <clears throat> and the story goes, you know, there were one of the, there were, one of the Rebbe's secretaries, in the, I never saw him, he passed away before I came, was Rabbi Rochstein. It was him, was even somebody earlier, Chaim Ben Digger Dengst. And uh, so, uh, there was a waste of anything, so the pencil will be used and then sharpened and until it's very small. So he's writing with a small pencil, I guess he was having trouble writing uh, because he was appreciative that it doesn't waste anything. They would write on scraps of paper. There'd be a paper and uh, it was only used this much, you tear off the bottom half and use that. Nothing is wasted in God's world. Yom HaMitzoro. Everything. Every element of God's world has to be suffused, connected. <coughs> At any rate, back to the story. So he, uh, he's writing with his tiny little pencil. The Rebbe said you couldn't find a smart, a bigger, a bigger pencil. Next day he comes back with this, you know, these massive pencils, you know, that the, the clowns use as a joke. He came in. The, he looked for ways to give, give the Rebbe a smile. So let's see it. Istaliki kore. So the lotion of the Zayar is that through his kafia and his apcha, we cause this effusion, this revelation of the glory, the Beshove. This is a glory that's equal in all worlds. And moreover, did it actually atzimus kol atzimus. This is what a Yiddish mamshech, the very essence, through Avayda. Maim Rebbe Shem The reason why it's italics, because you just glance across the page, you can see that whatever's in italics is underlined. Shaloi anivus kazu, not to have him, not to have uh, misplaced humility, recognizing what a yid is mamshich. The brackets is told us Yaakov Yosef. It's quoted in the sefer called Tildes Yaakov Yosef, Akiv Kuf Aleph Beis, the source. Vashem to his grandson. Now Yisheves beganim the gimel pirushim. There's three meaning of Yisheves beganim. Gan Eden, Beis HaKnesses, or Begoyla. Chaveirim, who are the Chaveirim? Also Gimel Purushim. Neshamas be Gan Eden. B'nei Yisrael, or Malachi HaShores. On the left, Ha'em Tzoi, Ein in the Ge'a Ka'am V'Nishmat. The Rebbe explains why the Fitik Rebbe does not talk about the middle explanation of B'nei Yisrael down here, because that's in, that's, that's in Zman uh, Bayez. And he was talking Zman HaGolo, so he only therefore deals with Neshamas and Gan Eden, and that stands on Malachi Shadis. Apuola Apuola I'll tell you what this is in a second. Bahol Darge. The Aveda affects every level. Migan Aiden Elian. Malachi Shadis. Elikim. Shibikaluki Darga Elikum Elikus. Elikus Shibikaluki Darga. The Chiddush is the Mavot of the Magid, that not only Yimam Shech Atzmos, but Yimam Shech Mamale, meaning the Abish did himself, responding himself, Ba'atzmos, Kavayochel engraved, each according to his level. The whole Darge, according to its level of a lay of clubs, not only save of Kalam, not only the blanket, Atzmos Dikir response, as we explained earlier. Is it a it's the big, in a way, the bigger Chiddush. The, it's, the, it's the bigger Chiddush. That's the beautiful Chiddush of this mime. We're not saying only Mamala. It's everything. Ain't Abish to coming, Atmos and Mahos coming in it, like the father's image. The image in the father changing according to the massive of the child. So that's a higher. Look at, look at footnote four. Look at footnote four. 
Well, that's what we're saying, though. But it seems What's the question? Seems to be saying that it's not. You said not just Seviv. It seems to say it's not Seviv. It's not. It's, it's not a, only Seviv. Not only Seviv. Even the Malos. It's the friends. It's one God, my friend. So he's saying that Eibishter Atzmos Mohos is expressing himself. Uh, it's the chibur, it's the fusion of seiv uh, v'memale, or atzmos v'memale. Actually, this is, a, this is dealt with in greater detail in Tav Shemem. There he explains that Gafka Neshama Shisro can do that. Sova goes on Neshama Shisro. The fusion of seiv v'memale is because it comes from a higher place. Atzmos v'memale mamish, in which there is no limits. And if atzmos can be expressed in a finite way, atzmos! <laughs> To get, be, and being infinite at the same time. And we'll see that in Tav Shemem. But that's the vote over here. Again, the, 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 the vote of the Magid. The father, the image in the father's intimate mind and thoughts is changing according to the matter of the child. <coughs> the same time, the father is still the same father, but affected by and therefore responds to. He, the small child is playing, playing on, the, on the floor. The older child, this matter, same father. But he's totally invested in responding to his child on the level the child is. He's totally invested. Not externally, totally. Let's continue. I want to finish the when I finish the, the kids in here. So this is the Rava Magid's word. Quote in the Torah. And he brings the a goddess. That's the section of the Torah. From the Medish by Yom Nidma, by the sea they saw him like a bocher, etc. And the, and the place, Nun Zayim Beis, is. Looks like the. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the, the return of the Magid. Pitsias Mitzrayim. So why did they say So Giloy, I think this is a bit hard to know exactly what they're saying here in the Teichen, yes, but the words here. The Giloy Elikos is Bishvil Giloy Elikos. The. What he explains in the Mayim is that the Giloy Elikos is commensurate to the Matziv of Yidin. The, the, the name of the Ebishta is commensurate to the, the Matziv of the time. For Shem Zele Nema Batayda, that's the question. The Tzvakas is not in Tayda, Rakad the Anavim. So, so, so Giloi, meaning to say that the unique name that's called is Bishvil Gilo Likus, because each name, that's the point. Giloi, the revelation of godliness to Bishvil Gilo Likus is in order to reveal godliness in a certain way. And the question of Hashem Zeli Nema Betayra, Rakadei Nevi'im. So why is it here? For Chilik Ikri, Api Admor Azaken. And the difference between Tzvokais, Shem Tzvokais, and other names is, is fundamental, as he explains in Torah Eir Boi. Turn the page. Be a be a be yes be yes be even great explanation on the kasha. I'll be at more than Explains the difference. Hashem etzem hatoya hapula. The three different levels. And be moisha bottle. Be moisha they were bottle till they cross. Even chayyuchad. Even gamayuchad. So we have Hashem tzvaka. So there's no bittel. That's Hashem hapula. Hashem right right yes. He's following us. Tzavah, so, uh, Gimel. Huh? They were bottled with Shemabaya, they were independent. Yeah, the bottle. Iyavah chayechad, Iyavah gamayechad. Tzavah, Gimel, Pirushim, Zman, Yomim, Yitzaru. That's all the Maisa Mitzvah, Sarechli, is Yomim, but you need Yomim, Dafke. The Farash of Semach Tzedek, he tells us where to tell him. I'm going to finish in a minute. The mitzvah, mitzvah efshaliyah is pniyas. Mitzvahs can be done, but they can be done with, with, with selfish agenda. He wants to get schar, he wants to be a tamat chacham, he wants to grow, he wants to know, he wants. That's the diak of maisim toivim, that's why it's underlined. Could be a maisim, but not toivim, not luminous of alikus, dafke. Pulas, I'm not sure what he means here. Riglas could just mean rogel, maybe because it becomes habitary. Therefore, you need the rechitz has got to be washed. I'm not sure of that word. Al yedei atfila tomid shel shachar atfila, which corresponds to the tomid shel shachar ben arboim. 
as he explains in the Maimah. Right. What? Maybe because he reveals what you use every day. Yeah, every day. Regilus is spelled with the, the Yud after the Gimel. So I don't know if that means that. That's the Reb Marash's vote. We have to change the reality on the ground. This is, look at this. Uh, this is not in the Maimah itself, but in the Kitzur. This is Yesh Lahayrich. Next line. The Reb Marash said this in the Maimah after the Bris Miller of the Fidike Rebbe. He brings in the Maimah stuff, Rishmem, but doesn't, uh, not this Diak. There was the Shabbos after the Bris. But it is in the Rebbe's notes. This is quite extraordinary. So there he brings there from the Gemara, Eir Teri Mechayeyo, Gambe Lamhaza. The whole point is that it's the whole Diak. That it's manifested even in the, the Chachmah's behavior. Adshay and the Daimem, Eir of the face of a person who is a, 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 learns tight as he should, is different than Rek Begashmius, the one that doesn't. Uh, and he brings then from the Rebbe Marash also, Alma Maikoi. The Gemara asks if the world exists or what? Yeshmei Rabbe Davke of Agadita. The whole Diyukim there. What's the Shaila? What's the answer? Pnei Agadita said the Satayra, and finally the the vote from Rebbe Nashab in the in explaining the Dika of the Fidik Rebbe is man mugbul dafke. So that's the loy echad bahem. It's dafke and man mugbul that we bring about and mamshich the echad in Yom Valayla, and that's found in the Maimon of Mandas Paras Tafresh Pei. No. Uh, so we know this. We know from Elam Haze how it is also Lamaila, the Be'in Aroich, even of the higher Elamis. That stands for, I'll tell you a second. From this we know that so it is also in Elam Misruchnian the beer of the Rebbe Rashab. Right? So that's the Nekudus of the Maimer. Good job, everyone. Chaim.